We now know that the GOP has canceled the House vote on the replacement plan for Obamacare. However, there was a part of the story that I thought was important to share with our audience. It had to do with the room full of men who wanted to decide how the replacement plan should impact women specifically. So there's a room full of dudes, okay? And this was actually a meeting with members of the House Freedom Caucus. And here's what happened. Members of the House Freedom Caucus, which is composed of all men, went to the White House to talk with the President about what changes they'd like to see the GOP health care bill have. One of the major adjustments would be no longer requiring insurance companies to offer maternity care in all health plans. Don't offer maternity care. So let's, okay. <laughs> so many things to say about this. First of all, these are the same motherfuckers who want to tell a woman that she should not be allowed to have a freaking abortion because they really care about the same, you know, that that life. They really want to make sure that they protect life. They want to protect life so much that they want to ensure that insurance companies don't cover your maternity care, right? That's how much they care about life. No, they care about punishing you because of their stupid conservative values and the fact that they hate hate the fact that women are sexually liberated. They can't stand it. Anyway, so there's that. And also, let's look at the picture one more time, okay? These people want to decide what I do with my body, and they also want to decide what should and shouldn't be covered in the insurance that I have to pay for. So fuck all of them. Can I say something about the, the, the photo while it's still up? They say it's not diverse, and I tell you, you are incorrect. Look at that one guy, he's not wearing a blazer. So, so obviously, there's yeah. a little bit of diversity there. So now you could. Say, first of all, I like how the House Freedom Caucus freed themselves of women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And and Anna makes a great point about the uniting theme. The theme is not I want to protect life. The theme is well, I want to make sure that you don't get to control your body, and I rule over you. So whether it's abortion, I don't want you to have a choice. Oh, pregnancy, well, I should really support your pregnancy because I claim to be pro-life. Now, again, I think that's your problem, not my problem. And I'm gonna punish you again by making sure it's not covered by insurance. So one of the right? things that Obamacare did was it made insurance a little fairer for women yeah. because insurance companies actually didn't cover things like maternity care prior, or they weren't obligated or forced to pay or cover maternity care prior to Obamacare. And so, Turns out that the House Freedom Caucus hates that. Yeah. They hate the fact that insurance companies are required to do so now. And so they met with the White House to try to, you know, change that part of it and ensure that maternity care wouldn't have to be covered. It makes me so angry, oh, right? And, and women have had to pay more for insurance than men have because of the fact that they could get pregnant. In fact, being pregnant was considered a pre existing condition prior to Obamacare. Yeah. Okay, pre existing condition. If insurance companies thought maybe this woman might get pregnant, they could actually increase the cost of insurance for you until Obamacare came around. House Freedom Caucus hates that. Okay, that group of men hate it, but they're pro life. <laughs> Look, I mean, to be perfectly fair, if that baby, once it's in the fetus stage, is a solid Republican, then it needs to grab himself by its bootstraps. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we, the baby can take care of itself, and so can the pregnant mom. There and it's all about accountability. And another point that's really ironic to me is that they also want to cut back on as many contraceptive, like or as many places that offer affordable contraceptives mm -hmm. or any sort of coverage in that field. And then women are going to be more likely to be pregnant and not be able to get abortions. It's like I don't I don't understand. Are they trying to increase the population? And then the third point I wanted to make is, um, do they think that men just get dropped from the heavens for, with storks? Like, do they believe that? Do <laughs> they not they do. understand that uh, they were born because of women because women got pregnant? Do they not have moms and wives and sisters? So this is a concept that constantly freaks me out when men are like, I don't want to pay for maternal care. Well, I, that disconnect is they don't look, they don't see themselves as our equals, right? Remember, these are members of Congress who have 
health insurance because of taxpayer money. They're they're covered, right? right? So there's a disconnect. They don't understand, you know, our perceptions of health insurance. They don't understand, you know, our troubles with getting the proper coverage, how challenging that can be. They they don't they think of it as an us versus them type thing, yeah. right? And and honestly, to keep it real, Think about our corrupt political system and who's funding their campaigns and who gives them the money. Those are the people that they're really interested in representing. And as conservatives, they lack all empathy. So they're like, well, if I have health care. Well, and it's not a problem for me, it must not be a problem for, for you. you. Um, yeah. And I, so oh, look, uh, they they uh, are actually hurting single women the most here. Yeah. Because if you're a couple and you're expecting to get pregnant, uh, well, you're, you're gonna get hurt if their proposal won, luckily it didn't, because you're gonna have to pay more for insurance. Okay, but if you're a single woman who's having a baby, well, you you don't have a partner to help you. So then you get, you have to pay all of that by yourself. And so when you tell them that though, they don't think, oh, that's a shame. I see how that punishes a single mom so much more than it punishes a couple, they think, good. Good, then you shouldn't yeah. have had it like that. Shouldn't right? have been loose or whatever. Yeah, you should, and the baby, like Haas pointed out, should grab itself by its umbilical cord and pull oh, itself damn. up. Yeah, <laughs> it's not, it's the ladder. We're socialists are trying to give ladders to these babies. We want to give them a rope that they can, you know, climb over. But, but like, okay, can I just, can I plug one thing? Because this is something I'm covering on Monday. Uh, one of the lar like one of the greatest hypocrisies as far as the. Uh, the AHCA and Paul Ryan just getting a hard on when he thinks about gutting Medicaid is to me at least, and I didn't know this, this is new information to me, is that um, in college, his, I mean, his, his father when he was 15 years old uh, died from alcoholism. Mm -hmm. And Paul Ryan actually took advantage of his father's social security survivors benefit. Mm. And that actually led him, like with that money that he got from that, he went to college. Yeah, yeah. So, right. yeah. So, yeah. but like, okay, but we talk about hypocrisy and we talk about how now they have access to healthcare as congressmen, right? Or Congress members. But how can you be so oblivious or how can you be it's so evil? Oblivious. It's like you have to be evil. Yeah, it's, they want to close evil. the door behind them. That's 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 how they are, that's my biggest issue with, Republicans, like they took advantage of the opportunities provided by this country to become the successes that they are, and then they want to shut that door right behind them and and kill those opportunities for younger generations. It makes me crazy. But you know what? I I will say this. I I won't. I know some. I have some friends that are Republicans that don't agree with a lot of the stuff that is happening. I think it's just a specific mindset. When I see these older white men who come from a different generation, I keep holding up these pictures because. Because this makes me enraged. I have had a child. Planned Parenthood is how I found the lump in my breast that was able to be removed and I didn't die. So when I think about these people trying to take that away, because they think it's all about abortion and Planned Parenthood is about abortion. Planned Parenthood is about a woman's health and people that don't have the money. And men's that, health. And men's health. And men's that health. you will later end up paying for if they don't have money anyway. But what I think is hypocritical is that. These people are the ones that talk about Islam and other countries and the way they treat women, mm -hmm. and they look down on them and they say, "Oh, look, that that is such a that is a Islamic principle to mistreat women and to treat women as second class citizens." But this is the indicative of the same. So this elite mentality that we don't do this in America, the free world. Look how we're treating women. It just I, I feel like I'm in the matrix because I feel like we're going backwards. Like some of the the things that we are discussing are things that people have been fighting for for years. And here we are, that, that's that shirt that I saw at the march. I can't believe I'm still fighting for this shit. Right. It's unbelievable to hear this, but th this is what happens when men oppress women. Like you like to point out Islam and doing, you're doing it too in America. And that is not acceptable anywhere on the planet. In this picture, people then of course will say, "Oh, well you guys are, it's a one angle, it's unfair. Maybe the other side of the room was filled with women. <laughs> there were two oh, they women. said Kellyanne yeah. Conway was there. Okay, <laughs> so we actually do have seen the picture of the other side of the room, we have it. And there actually were two women. Now, two things about that. Number one, we didn't send out the picture, 
Mike Pence sent out that picture. That's right. It wasn't some <laughs> liberal plot. It was Wait, Mike this is his second time, right? This yeah. is literally his second time pointing out, like, oh, what a glorious meeting we're having. And then everyone's like, dude, do you not see how weird that is that you're just surrounded by old white dudes that are discussing what to do with like millennials, uh, black people, Latinos? It's yes. just old white dudes that are just dis discussing the fate of every other demographic and age group in America. And but they don't, they view it as that's what it should be. That's right. And so they proudly sent out that picture. That's right. And he's right, it's the second time that you can see two women. Oh, all who, the way in the back. All the way in the back, who by the way are not part of the Freedom Caucus. We don't know who they are, they happen to be in the room, but they're not Congress people, okay? And so um, they think this is as America should be with all of us in charge and you not in charge. Mm -hmm. That's what they mean by make America great again. So yes. Haas is right, it's the second time when they tweeted out the picture of Trump signing the bill right when he first got into office, I'm sorry, an executive order where he said would devastate care for women across the world. And there was no women at all in the room, right? And, and he's proudly signing the executive order and they tweeted out like, yes. We made America great again. We made it completely and utterly white, and men controlling women's bodies, just like we love. So that's your, that's the reality of it. And you think it's an accident that there are no women in the Freedom Caucus, which is the extreme right wing of the Republican Party, which is already extremely right wing. Mm -hmm. No, it's not an accident. Women don't want to be anywhere near these guys because they don't agree that they should lord over them. Membership helps fund the Young Turks. You know one great thing about that. That means we're not accountable to anyone but you guys. That's why we're strong together, because we built this show around you. Come build it even bigger and better at tytnetwork.com slash join.